Welcome to uh, another transformation video. Today, we're going to be setting up Simon's new office. Simon and JJ, we moved out. After eight years, they've separated into different living environments. <laughs> I am currently in Simon's new office. As you can see, it's all very empty right now. Let me show you the space. Through this corridor right here, we've got his office. So you open the door and ta-da, very lovely space. We're thinking about putting his desk over here, a TV in the corner that's going to be on a bench and a beanbag on the floor here. And behind the desk over here, I'm gonna put up a shelf unit. Uh, that'll be his backdrop. And back through the door on the left-hand side, we have an ensuite bathroom. Look at this. Hello, uh, tap, toilets, and a shower. Now, I have a bad feeling that the main thing to desk is not gonna come today, that it's gonna come tomorrow. So if that is the case, it might be quite a short day for me, but at least I can set up all the IKEA units I got. Also, I'm not actually taking a sh There you go, see, I'm, I'm, I'm in shorts. I just, I just have nowhere to sit. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna start off with the IKEA stuff. So let me go grab it. That is the IKEA LAC TV shelf. This is how it's supposed to look. Cue the synth pop. Um, I don't know how this happened. I went to use the scissors and they just, this happened. Is this, maybe it's supposed to be like that so I can just go. <sighs> These scissors, I borrowed them from Gib. I don't want to tell him his scissors are broke. Are they not broke? It's, it's a normal thing. I think this is, yeah, it's normal. Look, they're back. Whew. Something that's gonna save me a lot of time. I've got an electronic screwdriver now. And look, it's got all sorts of attachments. So no more fiddling around with the Allen keys, kind of screw bolts in with awkward angles, none of that. I have an electronic one, nice. Wash, that was really, really easy. So that will go in the corner as so. Uh, I don't know about the angle yet, we'll see how it looks like with the desk in here. But the idea is that Simon's gonna put his TV here and then at the back we'll have a light and a camera filming him this side, reacting to the things on the big TV. Next up, I'm going to build the, the Calyx unit, as I call it, the Lux unit. And it's a three by, no, by four by four he's got, so it's quite a big unit. And that is going uh, over here. Look how much I've done. Damn. Also, look at this. What's it? It's not What's what you this? think it is. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh! It's an electronic drill. Oh, it's weird when you hold it this way. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Go and press the button. It's cool. That's why I've been smashing through that's, all of this. Yeah, that's really sick. Because thank you to the Zay sponsor. Oh my no, God! No, 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 no. <laughs> it's actually Dell. So, oh, okay. Shout out to Dell. So building IKEA units isn't exactly the glamorous side of what I do as part of my work, but it's just one of those things that has to be done. See, I make these tasks more fun for myself by using cool tools such as this electric screwdriver instead of an Allen key. And my interest in tech has taken me on some wild journeys over the past year. And the tool that has been there with me on my creative journey it's the Dell XPS 17. Because the Dell XPS 17 is packed with an 11th generation Intel Core processor and NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060, it probably shouldn't be super surprising that it absolutely chews through most workloads. I take it with me for every single video project and it's been particularly useful in longer work trip jobs that I've been on recently. After a shoot, I tend to get quite paranoid about losing the footage that I've just shot, but that worry is eliminated as I make multiple backups of my footage in no time. The very narrow frame around the screen makes the laptop ultra compact and masters the balancing act between portability and the maximum display area. The large trackpad and incredibly tactile keyboard makes creating videos a breeze. This, combined with the power, build quality, 
and portability of such an incredible machine makes almost anything possible. I love techie stuff. It's part of the reason why I enjoy creating these setup videos, unboxing new gadgets, adding RGB lights to absolutely everything and finding new ways of streamlining workflows. So thank you to Dell for sponsoring this video. And if you'd like to find out more about the XPS range, there'll be a link in the description that you can check out for yourself. Welcome to Strongman 2022. You're about to see me lift this Calyx 4x4 shelf up by myself. <laughs> oh shit. Ah oh, shit. God damn it. One of the shelves didn't go in the thing and now it's all wonky. Let me show you. Look at this. It's not that supposed to be in the holes. Oh no. It means I've got to undo all of it. Okay. I fixed it. I fixed it. Now that that's all fixed. Welcome back to Strongman 2022. Lifting Calyx 4x4 shell. Con in the building. Oh. Easy. <laughs> Sorry. So the desktop is running late. However, the desk frame has arrived. And of course, we had to go with the standing desk. I was playing Sophie Ellis Bexter, um, Murder on the Dance Floor. On Spotify, you can like choose a radio feature. So it plays similar songs to that song. And I'm just on a playlist from throwback songs. We got Madonna Like a Prayer, Man Eater, Nelly Furtado. Good times, good times. Love Machine, Girls Aloud, Anastasia. I, I said that weird, didn't I? Left outside alone. I tripped over. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. 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 Your desk. So I mean, it's not what? It's not a desk. Not yet. Will be a desk very soon. But okay. This is the frame of it, right? Damn. If, if anybody wondering, there's a link in the description where they can get theirs. Jeez. So, anyway, okay. uh, you press a button. It's going up. Ah, oh, I'm actually gassed. I'm actually gassed. This is fucking sick. I'm actually, I'm actually so you actually don't understand how gassed I am for this desk. Okay. Look how high it goes. It's unusable for John. And um, there you go. <laughs> there you go, look. Hello, Trouble. Care Hello, to mate. update us? What, what's going on? So you've arrived. I've arrived and I was just looking at all my plaques, you know, all my all my YouTube plaques. Oh, there's there's another one of my one million plaques and, a, and another one and, a, and another one. And then that, yeah, this is making me sad. <laughs> what have we accomplished in our lives, Gone. What have we done? <laughs> Nothing. That's, we've done some stuff. We're all right. We've done some stuff. Yeah, don't, some stuff. don't be too, too hard on yourself. We are. We, we, it would be comparing yourself to literally like some people at the top. I don't want to say that though, it's too much credit for Simon. Yeah. Fuck that guy. I don't know, all his stuff from his old flat's arriving, so we're just sort of piling in boxes, sorting out the computers, secondary cameras. Not everything is here yet. Mm, I know, I've So heard. we're just sort of waiting for stuff to arrive. Yeah, this tabletop uh, situation is a problem, isn't it, really? Well, we'll do that tomorrow, but it has hindered uh, a lot of stuff that I could have been doing today. When it comes to office setups and having carpet in your office yeah. and a computer, a lot of people, you know, complain. They say, never put your computer on the carpet, you know, because it sucks up the dust and I don't know. So what I've done, I've taken measurements of the PC cases that Simon has. I've got some scrap wood cut to size. So, uh, very practical. So the, the PCs can be put on these. Uh, what, what's he doing with a DJ deck? Oh mate, these are the world's least used DJ decks. Can we just give them away on my channel. You know what I'm trying to do? Just try, I'm just trying to get people to view my videos. Yeah. So watch the videos, guys. And watch the maybe... videos, like them, comment, get them an algorithm. Mm -hmm. And then you get me in as DJ decks that he's never used. He's used once, okay, we'll so there's some we'll incentive. Take, we'll, take we'll take them. We'll store it. Big changes are happening. We are moving this Calyx unit from this side all the way over to John Ware. That Hello. side. That side. And, and Simon's here too now. And Hello. Simon's here too Hi. as well. <laughs> Um, the room looks a bit bare and empty, like on this side. Yeah. Since yeah. swapping it around. Since swapping the layout around. Right idea, Con. So, I thought maybe we get another unit. Okay. And maybe a plant. 
Yeah? Yeah, get a fake one though, he's not looking after a real part. Um, it's very true. Yeah. Just show you on my Dell XPS 17. Jeez, okay, <laughs> okay. It's a very it's nice screen. Oh, it's a touch screen. Yeah. Hello, see? Touch screen. TV coming in. Oh, TV's coming. Oh, we need to clear this. What's the idea behind the TV? Why have we got a 65 inch TV in your bedroom? Because, you know, a 65 inch man needs a 65 inch TV. Okay, great. So you're going to use it. You're going to have I'm a bean bag. to stream. Uh, well, I'm going to have football matches on here and stuff and do watch alongs on the stream. Mm -hmm. So I'll have a camera over the top and then I'm going to sit on a bean bag around here if it's over there. And then this will be my background. So. You know, I'm all about lighting and making things I know look you are. nice. Yes. Yep. <laughs> I've got you the latest thing from Philip. Philips. <laughs> this, <laughs> is, <laughs> this is oh. um, this is called a gradient strip. Now it's designed for TVs. So in the moment you'll see there's plastic brackets that glue onto the TV. Okay. And then the strip gets installed into the bracket. So it will never peel off. Thank okay. you. So we're going to install Thanks that now. Well, I want to ask one question. You are paying for this, oh, by the way. You don't need to pay for me. When you say you've got it for me. <laughs> but you know what? I put a lot of time and research into these things. I appreciate it. This is sick. Thank you. So the strip comes in like a roll like this. So it's actually really, look, look it's like a tube, so it's like all diffused. Wow. Yeah, so ah, you know when you buy like the cheap LED strips and you can see each individual LED, you're not gonna get that with this. Okay, there you go, that's installed. Okay, ta-da. Oh, you know what, I like the whole room. Right, I was gonna say, I don't need imagine this anymore. That, <laughs> imagine that with color. That's sick. So oh. it's good. That's really good. How much is that? 180 quid. Okay, less than 200. You that's, said that's, okay. that's, um, that's including that. So minus that, 150. I mean, it looks sick. Yeah. It actually does light the whole room. Yeah, I'm that's proud, insane. I'm proud. Yes, this is, we're, we're moving into the right direction. With the TV now set up, Jeez. we're gonna put all your consoles. Okay. You've got the Switch, Xbox, and you have a PlayStation 5, I see I over do. there. I do, yeah, well that's that's a new one. So, that's, that's not opened. That's not opened. My PS5, I think it's, I've literally, I've had a PS5, and I've had another PS5 sat in the background for a long time. This. Jeez. This is the gold PS5. The gold one. Is really? it fake gold? No, it's plated. Like so the, it's obviously the thing not that, um, solid. Nizarap or whatever his name. I love London. That's he salt. puts on his steaks. He puts salt on them. No, he, he puts gold. He covers them in gold. Oh no, that's like that's like paper. That's edible. Yeah, that's gold plate. Like plate. It's gold plated. I don't want to. I don't want to eat everything I it's see. It's very. Simon. It's very. Whoa. Yeah. It's already. And the controllers. I'm yeah. Like, there is a headset as well. I've got. Jeez. Yeah. It. Yeah. It was like seven or eight. Wait, for real? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Your setup isn't uh, like. No, I know. <laughs> this is yeah. This is this is excessive. Yeah. I would trust me. I know. <laughs> I regret it, but you know what? It was cool. We have to put this somewhere that's that reminds you of how much money you spent. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> In we my have to nightmares. It's already there. <laughs> we have to put this on display somewhere. Okay. And these, so, these could just go on like a stand somewhere at the back. Oh, buy one of those dual monitor stands. Yeah, yeah, put yeah. Put them on there, that's cool. Yeah. Does it fit there? We'll make it fit, yeah, it should do. <laughs> we'll make it fit. <laughs> that's what I'll that's, melt it down. That's my life motto. So this is how it came. It came with this. No, it's like a video. What? But it's out of battery. It's like, we would like to, there's an opportunity to say, it's a very long video, so I'm not gonna show you all of it. Okay. It looks out of place right now, but this is gonna serve the function of uh, seeing a live Twitch chat on this screen. Man. So this is actually in its place right now. Yeah, we decorate the shelves with the gold PS5 here in the background. I think it's just gonna be like a trophy in the background. And um, got the controllers and the other accessories on another shelf here. I've just ordered a stand for the controllers so they could like be on top of each other. And we've got a glass skull for the headphones which is coming tomorrow as well. I've also attached a secondary camera for the stream, uh, which is the A7S Mark II via an Elgato arm. So there's no big bulky tripods in the way in the background. It's just attached to the unit. I've just discovered something else in Simon's boxes that have come into this room. A little logo that I recognize. An Elgato logo. Wow. What could be in here? Do you know what's in here? No. This is very cool. Elgato have released their own 
camera. Well, I nearly dropped it on the floor, but this is the camera. It's supposed to be really, really good. So we're gonna be using this as one of his third cameras. Not only is it good enough to be used as your main setup, but in our instance, if you're looking to mount something lightweight to the wall, so instead of a GoPro, this is the perfect solution because it's designed for streaming. Very excited to see the results this camera gives us. So yeah, progress, progress. I haven't eaten much all day, so I'm gonna go grab some food. Room update, we lost the scissors. Mm -hmm. When I say lost the scissors, they're very weird scissors. Remember earlier in the video, I broke them, I broke them. They split into half, all right? Ended up splitting into half again, like this. And we lost this half in in the bin. It basically in the bin, yeah, it was in the bin. We're gonna throw it away. So two hours later, we found them. And then me and John found that Simon has some old Philip Hue strip lights, these things, but the sticky from them has gone. So we had to Velcro our own stickies and then we mounted them to the shelf. Bam. Hey. Ooh. See, those are the lights that just came on, but that looks really nice. That is beautiful. That I love how nice. diffused it is. And of course, we've got the TV giving off a nice glow as well. So if we back out the room and we switch the lights off, let's do that TikTok song now. Wah, 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 wah. Wash. That's cool. It is approaching to the end of the day. We need to go home, have some rest. I'll be back here tomorrow. So I'll see you guys then.